we thought it might be nice to actually demonstrate and show the application of one of uh, the products from our metallic line. Cool. Um, I know we do get a lot of calls for our metallics and especially Swahili. So we're just going to demonstrate it's a pretty simple, easy process. We have all of the tools that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, basically just our Swahili brush, uh, a trowel for our primer, a few scrapers, and then of course our primer and the actual Swahili product. So not many materials, so it shouldn't take long. So we'll try to walk everybody through. Swahili is a decorative paint made for interiors that brings in the warmth of African nature into your home. It's available in a silver or gold base and we're able to tint it to a wide variety of colors. So I just wanted to show you what a finished sample of our Swahili gold base looks like uh, made by one of our color specialists here in the New York warehouse, Chris. So maybe later on we can show you what this would look like with a frenzy clear coat with a little bit of added Cristalia for those that might want a little more sparkle yeah. <laughs> to their product. Um, so this is a completed sample, but let's go make our own sample today. So we have all of the tools that we need to go ahead and start making our sample board. So let's get started. Okay. First, we're going to take our trowel and a spatula and load it up with a little bit of our Nova Lux primer. So we're gonna start from the top corner of the board, okay. apply the material and spread it out nice and evenly across the surface. Okay. So I know, Jesse, our Novalux primer is very versatile, right? Mm -hmm. um, as far as application. But I've seen people use a roller to apply it, but I notice you're using a trowel. Why did you decide to go with a trowel today? Well, sometimes when people use a roller, it leaves stipples in the board, like okay. orange peel. Okay. So it's not the most attractive look when you're using our um, thinner paint-like plasters on top. You might see through it. So yeah. the trowel spreads the material nice and easily, evenly across the surface to avoid those marks. Okay, okay, so we have our nicely prepped board with our tinted Novalux primer. We only mm -hmm. did one coat, so we've waited about an hour or so, made sure it's completely dry. Mm -hmm. And now we can go ahead and start with just putting one down one coat of Swahili. Right. On top. And I know there's many different ways to apply Swahili, mm -hmm. um, but I see you're using a brush. Yeah, so today we're gonna just be doing a simple cross-hatching effect. Like you said, there's many different ways uh, you can do the application, but today I'm just gonna show a simple cross-hatching effect with our Swahili brush. As you mentioned before, I know Swahili has a lot of quartz aggregates and metallic charges that produce this high-end visual effects and create this unique game of... So I guess this helps contribute to bringing the warmth of the African nature into our home. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's definitely a statement piece. I love it. And you see how simple it is. And this is just one single layer, right? This is, we're just sticking with one layer of Swahili today. That's right. Okay. And if they decide they want to do another layer, they can do that as well. Yeah. So what is the drying time in between the layers? Is it about eight hours? Well, you want to make sure that first coat is completely dry. So about four, four hours oh, or four so. four hours. Nice. There's definitely quite a few uh, brush lines. So what you can do to get rid of that is you're just gonna do these strokes and go against the grain and just try to feather them out. And you'll see them disappear rather quickly. So now that our board is completely finished, Kay, we're gonna wait until it totally dries and come back and show you what it looks like with a nice coat of our Forensic Clear Coat with the added Cristalia. So this is our clear coat, Forensic Clear Coat, and we've mixed in a few Cristalia additives in there to give it additional sparkle and shine. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this with a roller now. So you're just gonna take your roller and go up and down your surface. Looks easy enough. It's pretty simple and easy, yeah? More glimmer, yeah, more shine. Okay, so there we have it, Kay, our completed finished sample board with one coat of our uh, Nova Lux primer, one coat of our Swahili, and lastly, one coat of our Forenzi clear coat with added uh, Cristalia. Looks great, Jesse. you did such a good <laughs> job. You made it look easy. It's easy enough that anybody can do it. I think you should 
maybe give it a try this weekend. Why not? <laughs> Probably gonna try at home as my husband first if I can do it. I'm sure we'll it'll look I'm sure it'll look great, Kay. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial featuring our Swahili product. Thank you guys. Bye.